time. I'm Dr. Maureen Craig, um, teaching our yoga class this evening. Please come to your mat. How has your week been? I hope you're enjoying the beautiful bit of nature that I'm including tonight in my backyard. <laughs> I have been so appreciative of the warm weather. Take a moment to feel the earth beneath you and your body beginning to land right here and feeling the weight of your body resting in a seated posture. Take a big breath up, stretching up the spine. And on the exhale, let the shoulders drop back and a little melting through the body. On the next inhale, hold at the top. Inhale to fullness. Three, two, one. And soften as you exhale. And at the end or the bottom of the exhale, drink another breath in all the way to fullness. Holding for five, four, three, two, one, and releasing that breath, melting, softening, letting go. We're arriving here. Another full breath in. Holding at the top seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Returning to a natural breath now, maybe just a bit fuller inhales, little longer exhales. And I offer my words, welcome home. See if you can make those your own. Welcome home. Welcoming yourself to this moment of your life, being present in it. This body and this breath this is our home. With kindness, welcome home. Inviting yourself here, not leaning into the future, but being here. Welcome home. And if it feels okay for you, leaning into a bit of gratitude, appreciation for our seasonal beauty. The universe has given us this beautiful earth and the preciousness of ex human life experience. Letting your gratitude settle almost like honey on the heart. And feeling again that tallness from the tip of the tailbone right through the crown of the head. Draw the shoulders forward a bit, up towards the ears, and then roll them down the back as the shoulder blades drop into the ribs. Slowly roll them again. Take the hands and interlace them behind the sacrum, drawing them down so that the shoulder blades come together. Lean the chin over to the right shoulder, dropping the left shoulder away. And then switch sides, lengthening the space between the neck and the shoulder point. One more time each side. And again. And coming back to center. Bring your left hand down to the earth, press on the earth, and then lift that right hand up to the sky, reaching. Make a good space between those two hands. Breathing. Then we'll switch sides, planting the right hand down. Reach up with the left and breathe. Coming back to center, interlace the hands in a Ganesh Mudra. Elbows up at the level of the shoulders and exhale, drawing them down as you're pulling, which pulls our shoulder blades tight to the body. Inhale, open to cactus, spread those fingers like sunshine. Flip the grip, Ganesh Mudra, exhale down, pull, lift through the crown. Inhale, cactus. Reach out to a T, drop that right hand to the mat, sweep over. Push that hand into the mat to push the other hip down. 
sweep the sky. Exhale, side bend. Honoring whatever is in your body today. Switching sides. Remember the saying we explored last week. The role of the teacher and switching. The role of the teacher is to introduce you to your own inner teacher. Coming back to center, inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, off in a twist. Inhale, sweep to the sky. Exhale and twist. And several of you have been asking for more core work. So we're going to drop into just a little bit of core work here at the beginning of practice and then add still that regular core work at the end of practice. So with that in mind, take a block. We're going to start with what are called Russian twists. So find that kind of soft spot on your bottom. Option to float your heels or leave them down, whichever is right for you. Hold a block, lift the heart and twisting with the breath. Going for about 16 of these. Halfway done. Keep the heart lifted. And release, set the block down. Let's roll down onto our mats. Bring our feet up into our shins, up into tabletop. Cage the back of the head. Let the soles of the feet come together as the knees fall apart. And what we'll do here is you're going to use a side crunch to bring your elbow and your knee towards each other. Inhale through the center and then a side crunch on the other side. Follow your breath, exhaling into the crunch. Breathing and lifting. Get a good cycle going with your breath. One more each side. Very good. Releasing there and then we're going to roll up onto our, our hip. So coming up onto your hip facing me, we're going to first start with our elbow down and just support the head in the hand. Have the bottom leg bent, we call these hip hikers. So kick that top leg back and lift it up. So feeling the outside of that leg working. I'll do that for five, four, three, two, one more. Okay, now we're gonna come into a side plank. So bring yourself up onto your elbow. Use your other hand as you wish. You can come up into a side plank on your knees or you can extend your feet. And then if you'd like to make it even more challenging, lift the hips a little and maybe that top leg. Kick it up for three, two, one. And that really challenges me. All right, let's come on over to the other side. Start with the bottom leg bent. Hand head into the hand. And you'll kick that back foot up for five, four, three, two, one more. There we go. Coming into our side plank, elbow underneath the shoulder. Option to bend the hips and come into a knee down side plank or extend out into a full side plank. Use that extra hand to help you lift the hip high. Option to float that top leg for three, two, one. And that's about all I can do. Okay, now come on over onto your hands and knees and we'll get going into our back body. So first we'll bring our toes together and widen out our knees. We're gonna do a 
posture called grasshopper. Bring your hands forward. This is kind of like a child's pose. And then you're going to roll over your knees, bringing the heels towards the glutes, squeezing, opening the front body. Exhale back. And this should be relatively comfortable on your knees, so maybe your mat isn't thick enough, don't do this posture, okay? But if it feels okay for you, then squeeze away. This helps open up the front of the hips here. And we'll do this for three more. You can imagine yourself as a little grasshopper in the grass. And then we'll come into our table posture, knees right underneath our hip points, hands underneath our shoulders, our little cat cow that we love to do every practice because it feels so good to undulate the spine. Pausing and table kicking your right heel back, lengthening out the left thumb to the sky. Feel the strength of your table. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sweep off center. Inhale, long. And off center. Long. And away. Bring the left hand down and donkey kick with that right heel for five, four, three, two, and one more. Bring the ball of that foot down, press the hands into the mat and really get a good calf stretch there. The heel pushing back. And then this time let's push good into the hands and that foot so you float your left knee, kick it up, three-legged down dog. And then bring that left knee behind the left wrist. We're going to take a pigeon now. See, I'm mixing things up a little. Usually we take a pigeon in our flow, but we're going to take one right here. So tucking the back toes, if that helps you get a better stretch in that outer hip. Keep the ankle flexed. Breathing. And slide it back a little bit and we'll come back into our table. Little cat cow just to feel the movement. How does the one side feel versus the other? And now let's take and push our left heel back, right thumb to the sky. This simple move here for the back body and spinal health is so important. Feel the navel drawing up and in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sweep off center. Inhale, lengthen. Off center. Lengthen. And away. Bring that hand down and donkey kick on the left. Kicking it up for five, four, three, two, one more. And bring the ball of the foot down. Those donkey kicks really activate the glutes. Press into your palms and into the ball of that foot. Float that right foot to the sky. Bring the right knee behind the right wrist. We'll take a pigeon on this side. You know I like to have a block under my hand. Helps me sweep that right shin forward. Ankle flexed. The stretch is in the outer hip. So nice to be outside this evening. We're having a good 70 degree weather. Not too hot, not too cold. Breathing and letting go in the stretch. And then slowly bringing it back. We'll come out into our plank and push up to down dog. So hands and feet are in two lanes of traffic. Just float it to plank. Exhale down dog. Soften the knees. Let the chest come back towards the thighs. Most important, important part of this posture is letting the arms be long. The fingers spread wide. Here's between the biceps. 
If you can lengthen out your legs, that's the second portion, but really try to get that chest close to the thighs. Floating back to your plank, bring your knees down. Walk your hands back towards your knees and then flip your wrists. We'll get a little forearm stretch in here. We like to really explore the whole body in yoga practice, not ignoring anything. Turn the wrists back, toes are tucked. Sit back on your heels for a moment as your heels are coming close together. And then roll up into your squat, lift the hips. Forward fold, pedal out the back of the legs. Inhale, coming into your half lift, big breath in the belly. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach those hands behind you. Give your glutes a squeeze. Tall mountain and release. Beautiful. We've got a good warm up. Let's move into our flow tonight. So we're gonna actually tuck balance into a tiny flow here at the beginning. We will use a block. So come to the top of your mat. Find your mountain posture and bring your hands to prayer. We're gonna do a step back lunge with a prayer. So just dropping back on the right, so stepping back like that, okay? So bring your hands to prayer as you step back and step back two or three times so you get a good lunge here. And then stay in your lunge. Reach the arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, bring them down to the mat on a block. I'm gonna take our little stretch here, runner's lunge nice and deep, and then pull it back for pyramid. And now we're getting creative. Walk your hands over, standing split. Lift out of that left hip, right foot to the sky. Option to look behind you. Take the block into the left hand, tripod it out on an angle from the left foot. Open up, half moon. The ankle on your right foot will flex, right hand to the sky. Breathing and lifting out of that hip, and then slowly float off the block. And then scissor kick back to standing. There we go, close the legs. A scissor kick close. Okay, how are we doing? Let's do it on the other side, okay? So we'll start with a step back at the left. So just taking that step back lunge with the heart, uh, hands at prayer. So prayer and step back for your lunge, okay? And then lift the arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, bring the hands down onto that block. Sink into that runner's lunge. Give a good stretch to those hips and then draw that right hip back. Pyramid pose. Walk the hands over the block, lifting up into your standing split. And then taking your block out on a 45 degree angle from your left, right foot, left foot, you're gonna go ahead and flex the ankles, stack the hips, lift through Ardha Chandrasana, we are in half moon. Float off that block, and then scissor kick, close, coming back to mountain. Okay, that was a challenging uh, flow for our balance, wasn't it? So we'll come now to the top of our mat and start in our next more traditional flow. Okay, finding your mountain, inhale, let those arms float up. Feel your tall mountain. Exhale and fold. Inhale for a half lift and fold. The head come down. Inhale, sweep back up to tall mountain, and exhale, hands to heart. This time we'll move forward, feel the weight in your heels, feet parallel with the mat, inhale, tall mountain, exhale, bending at the hips, 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back on the right. Low lunge, untuck the back toes, knee down. Let the hips sink, hands rise up. Opening that psoas muscle, important part of our core. Bring the hands to the mat and draw the left hip back, flexing the toes back, hurdler stretch. Take a breath there. Walk it forward. Keep that knee down for a moment. Just tuck the toes. Bring your arms alongside the ears, okay? We're gonna give ourselves a challenge here. See if this feels right to you. Tuck those back toes, lift up through the fingertips and then push it up, coming right up to your crescent lunge. Option for three dips. One and two, three. Then reach your hands forward. Open that right hand as it comes back to the back heel. Drop the back heel, warrior two. We turn crescent lunge into warrior two. Reverse warrior. Three breaths. Draw that back kneecap up. Left knee right over the ankle. And windmill your hands down to the mat. Step back for your plank. And then take your knees down, elbows in, chest and chin. Roll the heart up. And exhale, down dog. Inhale the right foot up. And bring it between the hands. Dragonfly twist, right hand up. Bring the hand down, step to forward fold. Inhale a half lift and fold. Sweep it up and release. How did that feel? Check in with yourself, honor your own experience. Find your mountain, find your breath. Welcome yourself home to this body, to this breath. With kindness we practice and gratitude for the preciousness of our human life. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, a half lift. And fold, stepping back on the left. Coming into our low lunge, the knee stays down, the hips sink, the arms reach up. Letting the hips sink for a breath. And then bring your hands to the mat, draw the hip back, toes come back, hurdlers stretch. Different ways of stretching the hamstring. Walking it forward. Gonna bring our arms up alongside the ears. I'm inter interlacing my hands, but you can do as works for you. Keep your shoulders comfortable. Then tucking your back toes. You can always use a block to get up or a chair. So you choose what's gonna work better for you, okay? You can also even use your own knee. Okay, I'm gonna challenge myself here, lifting the arms, tucking the back toe, and push it straight up to a crescent lunge. Three dips. One, two, three. Crescent lunge. Release the hands. Bring them forward. Open that left hip hand to the back foot. Drop the heel. We just turned into our warrior two. The hips went from forward facing to side facing. Rotate the palm up, find your reverse warrior. Keep that back kneecap drawn up the leg for three breaths. Feel the breath all the way into the low belly. Exhale, pull it in. Two more. And again. 
gently with control. Whenever we're moving, we're always moving from that core of ourselves. Right from here, with control, we float our hands down to the mat. Bring the right foot back, coming into your plank. Keep the hips just a little high, so we keep that low back comfortable. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll the heart up. Exhale, down dog. Lift your left foot up and bring it between the hands. Dragonfly twist. Keep that right kneecap drawn up. As you bring the hand down, step to forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms up and release. Beautiful. Progressing so nicely through our practice. Okay, how's the body feeling, the neck, the shoulders, the legs? We're gonna come into our moon salutation, the one I told you about in our newsletter that we'd be having moon salutation this week. So find your mountain posture. We're opening up the landscape here, lifting the awning a little bit as the sun is going down. Get a little bit more nature in here, huh? Okay, so we're starting in our mountain posture and we're gonna take a bit of a back bend here. So take your hands right to the back of the neck and lift up through the elbows. Now, notice your heels. Feel them weighted into the earth. Start squeezing your glutes so the front of the hips come forward. Draw your elbows together and up. Breathe. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep a strong body. And release. Now we'll take our crescent moon. So place your left hand into your left hip and take your right foot behind. Wherever the back foot goes, that's where we want the same hand to go. So you create a crescent moon. And switching sides. There we go. And switch. Crescent moon and switch. One more time each side. come back to our goddess squat. So a three-quarter stride, toes out, heels in, and sink. We're going to have our big moons. So starting at the top, draw your moon. Come down low, inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale. And exhale. Push the arms out and through the heels as you lift. Heel toe out to a full stride here. We're coming to our star posture. Okay, we are a human star. Roll your thumbs back and squeeze those shoulder blades just a bit. Nice squeeze. And again. Now we're gonna float up onto our, our heels. So I like to come together just a little bit as I float onto one foot and float out my star, yay! A little balance, and then take it to the other side. Float that foot, and again. A Little bit challenging to go so wide. One more time. There we go. Okay, dropping back into your star. Lengthen out your feet, so you do have that full stride. And then turning to one side, for me, it'll be the right side, so, or it should be the right side for you. Turn your toes to the short edge of the mat and lengthen out. Keep the knee straight, We're coming into trikonasana. So bring that left hip back, float out the hands, and come into your triangle posture. The hand rests lightly on the calf or shin. Stack your shoulders. Keep drawing that right hip back and lengthening tailbone to crown. 
soften the knee now. The knee comes directly over the ankle. Elbow on top of the knee. Extended side angle. Let your top arm come over the ear so you have a long line of energy from the back foot through your fingertips. Now bring your energy right to the core of you as you float that bottom arm up like you're throwing a fireball. Sweep that top arm open, coming to your warrior two. We were here a little earlier, weren't we? Feel that warrior in you. Bring the back arm up as you lift the heel, crescent lunge. These different transitions. Keep the back knee lifted. Exhale, bring the hands down to a block on the inside of your left foot. We're going to take a little bit of movement here from runner's lunge. Exhale it back to pyramid. This is a great stretch for the hamstring on the front leg. So just with your breath, inhaling and exhaling. bring your back heel down again and we'll move our block out to the side for a side lunge letting the hips lengthen the inner thigh get a bit of a stretch keep that elbow on the inside of the knee to keep the knee supported two or three breaths here Lift the hips, turn the toes to the long edge of the mat. Coming into our full straddle here. And let your top of your head sink down a little bit. The tailbone lift, the back of the legs lengthen. And then bring your block in front of you. And we're going to heel toe together to that three quarter stride and come down into Malasana if this is available to you. So spread your knees with your elbows, taking garland or Malasana posture for three breaths. Plant your hands down, lift the hips back up. Heel toe out to that long stride again. Set your block aside and gently walk yourself over to the other foot. Let that toe face the short edge of the mat as we take a side lunge on this side. In moon salutations, we kind of work our way around the mat, don't we? Let the hips sink. There is so many good stretches in a moon salutation really gets the kinks out of the body and a fair bit of strengthening too. Lift the back heel coming into your runner's lunge. Use that block to help you lift the heart a little bit and then draw the hips back for your pyramid as you flatten the back and float the heart towards the knee. Coming back and forth between those two postures, your runner's lunge and your pyramid. Two or three times. And then settling on your crescent lunge, coming on up and holding a focus point a little bit of a balance posture to come from runner's lunge to crescent lunge and then open into your warrior two. Keep that right knee over the ankle. And just take a moment to notice your fingertips. Sometimes the back arm wants to sink down. So load it back up. Shoulders away from the ears and gently bring that elbow to the knee 
extended side angle, arm up over the ear. Notice that energy in the low belly. That's where we bring the energy through the body from that low belly spot. That dantian, float that bottom arm and throw your fireball. Breathing. Bring the elbow back down, lift the top arm up, straighten the knee. Trikonasana. Slowly coming around here. Draw that, that bottom hip way back. Stack the shoulders. Breathe into the low belly. Feel the top arm growing light as you float it back up. Turn the toes, coming back to our star. Beautiful. Roll your thumbs back, squeeze. And again. Heel toe together, three quarters stride. Come down into your goddess squat. Sunshine fingers, cactus arms. Inhale forward, exhale, fists and elbows in. Inhale, exhale, cactus arms. Inhale forward, elbows in. Use that breath like you're a Tai Chi warrior. Breathing. Push through the hands and through the heels, lifting up. We'll come into our crescent moon. This time as you bring your foot behind you, take both hands up and lean them towards that back foot. Dance to the other side. And again, both sides. And we'll end our mountain, um, our uh, moon salutation with a back bend. So interlace your hands, and draw them down the back. Feel your heels landing, squeeze through the glutes, shoulder blades together, lifting the heart, breathing. And release. All right, how did you do? Hopefully that was a good practice for you. All right, well, we'll move on now to our next flow that will take us into a little core practice here at the end of our, of our practice. Okay, so finding your mountain posture and settle for a breath or two. Taking in the world around you and the world inside of you. Inhale, letting those arms come up alongside the ears. Exhale, folding at the hips. Inhale, a half lift. And stepping back to your plank. Glide a bit in plank. Lift the hips just a bit. Breathing here. With the next exhale, push to down dog. Inhale forward to plank. You can pause in down dog or plank, whichever is right for you. Two or three breaths here. Push to down dog. Inhale back to plank. Lift one of the feet if you'd like. And then switching to the other foot. And then push to down dog. One more time to plank. Take it for five breaths. Two more. Bring your knees down and walk your hands, your knees through your arms. 
we'll come back onto our bottoms. Reach your hands forward and slowly lower yourself down to the mat. Roll your shoulders under a bit. And we'll keep the left heel close to the glute and let the right leg go long. And then go ahead and take and cage the ears, supporting the neck. On the exhale, roll the heart up towards the knee. Really give that front body a good squeeze. As you're engaging those core muscles. So inhale it back, exhale, lift. Inhale back, nice and slow. Exhale, lift. Two more. One more. And switching sides. Take a cleansing breath here. Exhale, begin to roll it up. Inhale it back. Exhale up. Really squeezing as you twist and lift. I'm breathing deeply, I'm taking in the smell of honeysuckle from our neighbor's yard. Two more. And squeeze. Releasing back. Honeysuckle smells so sweet at this time of the year, but some people have allergies and that can be irritating. So I'm enjoying it tonight though. Rolling my shoulders under. Bring your heels close to your glutes. We're gonna take a bridge. Option to grip the edge of the mat. Sometimes people like that. So notice the small of the back. Push it down towards the mat. Start to roll the tailbone up and lift through the front of the hips. Draw your knees close together. And then put some energy into your heels and into your shoulders. Lifting the chin. Find the breath now in your bridge. Exhale, squeeze that pelvic floor. Inhale, fill. Exhale, squeeze. One more breath here. Roll it down, bringing your tailbone towards your heels. Beautiful. Okay, let's take that butterfly crunch again. Bring your shins up, soles of the feet together, the knees a little bit apart, and squeezing left and right with the breath. Inhale in the center. Exhale, squeeze the side body. Two more times on each side. And release your heels back to the mat, preparing for a second bridge. This time, bring your toes out to the wide, wide so the toes curl over the edge of the mat. Changing up our bridge a little bit. Begin to roll the tailbone up and squeeze the glutes. Keep the knees wide. Let the hips come down a little and squeeze them up. Breathing with the exhale, lift. Inhale as you soften, exhale, pulse the hips up to the sky. Two more. Slowly let the back roll down and 
and bring your knees into your chest. Rock the hips left and right a bit. Let the right leg go long as you walk your hands up the back of the left leg for a bit of a hamstring stretch. Possibly moving the leg out a little bit to the left. Then bringing that ankle across the knee, eye of the needle, hands behind the, the thigh and draw that right knee in towards the chest with the ankle of your right, left foot flexed. And releasing that foot as you bring the right knee in, walk it up the back of the leg, getting your hamstring stretch on this side. Then bringing that ankle across the knee, hands go behind the left thigh, elbow into the right thigh. Eye of the needle. And just rocking the hips a little to intensify that stretch. And slide that ankle off the shin and see if you can reach between your knees for your ankles or your toes for a happy baby posture. Finding those four corners of your back. Big breath in and blow it up to the clouds. And releasing. Finding a block will take an ridge up enough to slide that block underneath our body. Right underneath the sacrum for Vipariti Karani. Legs up the wall. Make sure your shoulders are rolled under. Float your shins and then let the heels come up to the sky. And draw circles with your ankles or enjoy a bit of stillness, whatever is right for you. And perhaps you want the heels to drift apart in a bit of an inner thigh stretch. <sighs> Breathing and releasing. Welcome home. Letting your heels come back together with the next exhale. Knees in towards the chest. Welcome home. And letting the heels come down to the mat. Bridge up to slide the block out from underneath you. Bring your knees into your hands. Draw a few circles with your knees. And then switch directions. Hands down to your shins, let the knees fall apart. Elbows wide, rocking left and right. And then let your feet come down to the mat. Toes curl over the edge of the mat. Arms out into a T. Just windshield wiper the knees left and right. Exploring a little more depth. When you're ready, let them both fall off to the right. And then an option to bring your right heel on top of your left knee and take your gaze over to your left hand. Big breath in and exhale. One more breath and release. Slide that foot off the knee if it's in that position and gently let the knees come back up to center. And windshield wiper of the knees back and forth. And allowing both knees to drift off towards the left. 
with the left foot on top of the right knee, if that feels okay to you, and your gaze off to the right. Big breath in, and let it go. One more breath, and release. Slide that foot off the knee, bring your knees back up, windshield wiper just a bit more. Knees into your hands, a few more circles. Anything that feels good for you as you begin to prepare for our final resting posture, Shavasana. Let your arms and legs go long. Option to bring a block underneath your femurs if that feels good for your low back. Let the legs fall apart a little bit, the hands away from the body. Feel the earth rise to support you. Take up all the space you need. The earth is yours. Nice full breath in. And release. Feel the body softening to the earth. Let the air touch your skin. And feel the skin soften and the eyebrows drifting apart. The cheeks softening, the jaw unhinging. Letting go of tension in the shoulders, from the shoulders to the elbows, and the elbows onto the fingertips. Feel the weight of the body coming through the torso and your hips to your knees your knees to your ankles, and the softening through the feet. And finding the breath, the breath in the body as it lifts and falls, ebbs and flows, allowing the breath, receiving it, releasing it. Welcome home to your sweet self. Welcome home. beginning to deepen your breath a bit. Finding movement or a stretch in your body. Fingers and toes. 
hands and feet. When it's right for you, draw your knees into your chest. Gentle hug. And coming to a seated posture. We will close our practice time. Bringing your hands to prayer. Thank you for your practice. For growing this in your, in your experience. Growing peace and beauty in your life. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful week.